but we are going to be using MidJourney's face swap feature. And the way that we are going to do this is if you are familiar with MidJourney AI, I'm gonna be going quick. And if you aren't, you can replay this and stop this video whenever you want. Uh, but you're gonna go ahead and add a server. There is a button down here on the bottom left, this big green plus sign. And you're going to go ahead and add your server, create your own for me and my friends. And then I'm gonna go ahead and name this, let's just say, face swapper okay we create that i'm going to go ahead and upload your server now what's next is we are going to have to connect the mid journey bot and the face swapper bot okay the mid journey bot is super simple if you go ahead to the sailboat the mid journey app right here you can go ahead and click and if this column on the right side is not showing up, go ahead and show the member list, this little person icon up here. Now you're just gonna simply click this, add to server, and I'm going to select the face swapper server. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue, authorize, there you go. It's gonna ask you if I'm human, and sometimes it gives you these prompts. So image containing a squirrel, looks like we have two of them, verify. All right, so that has been added. The next step is a little trickier. We're gonna be adding the face swap um, bot to it. So there's gonna be a link in the description that I'm going to include, uh, but you're just gonna simply go to this invite app, select the face swapper server again, after clicking the link in the description and hit continue, authorize, and it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna ask me to pick in a Rubik's cube. Verify. I was gonna ask again, squirrel. That looks like a squirrel, that looks like a squirrel, that looks like a squirrel. Verify. All right, so we're good to go. So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna go into my face swapper server and I'm going to enter their new prompt. Backslash and hit save, ID and theme. Here, there's a limited amount of characters you can put in the ID name, so let's just do um, fart <laughs> and then an image so we're gonna attach an image and I already took an image of myself because this whole tutorial is going to be uh, just uploading an image you have and face swapping it with what you want so I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and it, while it sets up my face swap so ID fart created and <laughs> So this is what we're gonna do now. Just like an, an average prompt, you're gonna hit backspace, imagine. All right, so I wanna make myself a samurai. So first I'm gonna type in whatever you want to generate to apply your face to. So this is going to be a samurai. I'm gonna say male because it's a picture of me. I am a guy. Um, so, and then we're gonna do close up portrait. Looking at the camera. Okay, so this is kind of important because the face swap seems to work really well with direct on images. So whenever you say looking at the camera, that will help direct whatever image we're going to use to apply our face to, to have the same setup as the image I attached. So we're gonna go ahead and hit enter, and it is going to generate four different male samurai close-up portraits looking at the camera. So as this is generating here, we're gonna to start to see four images get generated and you can choose the one that you would wish to apply your face to. Right now, this is all looking pretty cool. 62%. Now, one of the coolest things that I think is going to happen with this AI face swap, everybody can make their own avatar. And then with apps like the video generative voice thing, you could make yourself as a cyborg robot repeating lines on a video. So, all right, so I want to choose version three. I'm gonna hit U3. I also wanna choose version four because that looks pretty epic. So simply to apply the face ID, all you have to do is right click, apps, indie swapper. So this insight face swap, is going to then apply my face. So let's do it again. All you have to do is hit right click, app, ion swapper. And this will start generating your face and combining it onto the image that was generated off of our initial prompt. <laughs> so look at this. 
<laughs> Look at this. The resemblance is striking, I do say. Let's try this one, the close-up one. So while this is generating, I already started a server that has my face applied to a bunch of different things, like everything from the Mona Lisa to Planet of the Apes, Dog the Bounty Hunter. I mean, look at this. This face swapping thing is unreal. You can take pictures of celebrities. Uh, so if you've been recently seeing pictures um, with Bill Gates flipping burgers, this is the process they're most likely using. Here's the girl with the pearl earring, except I put my face on it. Let's, let's show that Mona Lisa. This is the birth of Venus. I went ahead and put my face as a close up from the famous painting of the birth of Venus. Here's the images that were there. Also, Jimi Hendrix. I made myself my own version of Jimi Hendrix. I mean, really, this is just fun. This is so much fun. So here's the house of Mona Lisa. And then here's the original image it pulled from and generated when I prompted it to make an image of the Mona Lisa. And then that's what it made. Absolutely unreal. Some more Jimi Hendrix shots. Now this one's pretty funny. So this is uh, this is Wookhausa. He's at a festival. He's your new plug. And this was the original image that it superimposed my face on top of. <laughs> There's some failed Wookiee attempts where it actually generated the Wookiee from Star Wars. I made myself an Eskimo. I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. Here's me as an old man. I mean, I'm kind of looking forward to gray if I look anything like this. I'll take it, right? But really, it's unreal. Even kind of non-human beings. I asked it to create a Star Wars monster and then had my face applied over the top of this. All right, so now that we know how to swap faces that way, I wanna show you how to do it with swap ID. So we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do swap ID. Oh, I guess I named it Fart, so here we go. <laughs> Fart. And then I, so what this is gonna do, I'm going to place the rock on there, but what it's going to do is it's going to take my uh, ID I already made up of myself and it's going to transpose my face onto the rock. So let's see what happens. All right, so I'm going to make a new, we're going to do save ID, save ID, and I'm going to choose a picture of myself because this is what I want to have my this is what I want. We're going to do just Ryan. Okay. Command sent. All right. And then we're going to do swap. Swap. Uh, Ryan. And we are going to use that picture of the rock. We're going to put it in here and see if it turns me into Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> Uh, get a load of that. I mean, it's a bad image I use, so uh, <laughs> I mean, bear with me there, but that is pretty funny. Um, let's go ahead and we can choose maybe even a higher quality one. This is what we're going to do. Let's go back here now. <laughs> I, I can't even. Gotta, gotta zoom out. Okay. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. So we're gonna do the same thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm creating a swap ID. So one of the IDs I just created, which was my name, Ryan, uh, and I'm going to drag the image that I wish to swap my face onto. <laughs> and then I'm gonna type in my my ID I've already, I've already saved. We're gonna hit enter. And... <laughs> Uh, get to, I'm going to have to end it here, guys. This is too ridiculous. I think you guys got the point. Uh, if, this, if you found this helpful, entertaining at all, please help the algorithm. I'm still a small YouTuber, so any comment, like, or subscribe would greatly be appreciated. And until next time.